Think James Bond. Think Point Break. Think Hollywood leading man in sun-soaked neoprene. Now, forget all that. It's me! As one of the world's leading surfers, I have an idea that I believe will revolutionise modern lure fishing. To show it at work, I have chosen one of the most famous waves in the world. I have also chosen to do it on the day the River Severn would burst its banks and flood dozens of Gloucestershire villages, something everybody else already seems to know. It arrived at the BBC's here. Exactly what am I up to? So we're at the Seven Boar pub just off the A48 in Gloucestershire on the first big tide of the year. Now, as a fisherman, what I want to do is cover water. And there's no better way of covering water than surfing the Seven Boar. I've got here the, the patent pending Jacoby Surf Fisher. Genius piece of kit. Really simple to put it together. You do need the right um, kind of wood, though. We we find that um, uh, this kind of old Canadian pine works very well. And of course, the uh, size of the pipe is vital because it has to fit the rod. Let's put all this into practice. As I head towards the bank, it starts to dawn on me that what I am about to do might be just a teeny bit risky. There's only one other loony here. Um, it's rated as a three star, hopefully a bit more with the uh, tidal surge. So if we paddle a bit a fair way uh, down to meet the ball and then hopefully get a good way back. Like me, this is the first time Derek has done this. Happily for him, in this particular creek, he has a paddle. I try to look brave, noble and fearless as the local press gather. This is the before shot to the rather obvious after that they are hoping for their front pages. Well, a big crowd turned out today to watch, uh, to watch the drownings. Um, this is the River Severn. It's got the highest, third highest tidal range in the world after a couple on the other side of the Atlantic and uh, a 50 foot range from where it is now up there. That doesn't mean to say the 50 foot wave is going to go past. The biggest wave is only about nine feet high, but the longest enemy has surfed it is seven miles. Trouble is, with all this flooding, the water is generally higher, means the wave will be lower. So if I make it out of the pub car park, I'll be happy. I won't be happy. The wave <laughs> arrives 15 minutes early and I am still gassing to the cameraman on the bank. As I get to the water's edge, I can see I have already missed it. Then I can see just how big it is. Well, this is one of the scarier moments in my fishing career. That wave is travelling at nearly 15 miles an hour and it's not until you get close to it that you find out what that much water going at that speed really looks like. Well, that wasn't quite the success we hoped it would be. <laughs> we'll get it next time. I'm coming back. I've got to do this properly. 